Hello everyone and welcome in today's video. I am going to show you step by step how to create this landing page in Divi. But this landing page works with cart flows. You are able to export it and use it on other layouts, even other future jobs or projects that you may want to do. So this technique here is very important because you don't have to design these layouts every single time you design funnels. So I'm going to show you step by step how to put this together. But before we get started, I'd also like to remind you that if you buy cart flows which is our page builder for wordpress you get a 10 percent discount if you use the coupon code mak10 the link to that is in the video description below let's dive in let's start building this funnel step by step all right so but the page builder i'm using here is divi but you can achieve this with other page builders all right so what i'm going to do now is to come over here to pages click on add new so i'm just going to design my uh, landing page from scratch so I'm just going to call this landing, use Divi Builder. So for this, I am going to build this from scratch. So I'm going to start off here with a single column. So let's give this the text module. And in here, we're just going to add our text. This is going to act as my main heading. So I'm going to highlight it. Click on this drop down, set this to heading one. Go into design heading text, change this from default to poppins. And we may also want to make this all caps. Maybe that's something that could work for us and change this from regular to bold. Okay, so that's cool. I'm going to save that. Next, I'm going to come over here, click on this plus button. Now, the layout I'm going to have here is going to have a video on the left side and some text or the opt-in on the right side. Or you can just have a button here that links you to the next page. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our structure here. So here I'm going to add a video module. Select it and... Next, I am going to now go to my overlay and add my image overlay. Now, the reason why I like adding image overlays, it, it just makes the design look more beautiful. All right, so I'm going to add my image here, upload an image. Now, you can see here that this button is way too big, so we can always come over here to our design, play icon, and we can go into use custom icon size, reduce this to something like that, maybe 54, maybe even down to 52 and save so you can see here the thumbnail looks much much better next over here now we are going to uh, add our text so i'm going to go in and uh, add a text module i'm going to paste it go into design and uh, what we need to do now is to go into text change this from default to poppins and let's increase the size a little bit let's go with 18 and we also need to add some line height so, okay, 1.8 looks much, much better. Okay, let's save. Now let's add our background here. So, but before we do that, I'm just going to drag here and give this some breathing space. Usually I like using 100. And uh, let's apply this both to the top and the bottom. And we're also going to need a button here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and let's add our button module. Here we go. Excellent. So now we have our button module here. Let's save this for now. So the next part here is to spend a bit of time uh, designing our background image here. So I'm going to click on this gear icon for our section settings. Click on background. And first things first, uh, you can decide whether we're going to have this as a dark background or as a lighter background. So for this, uh, let's go with our light background. Okay, so I'm going to go with the white. And then over here now, I'm going to add my image. So I'm going to click on the third tab, click on this plus button here. And the image we're going to use is this one right here. So this image works really well if this is a sort of like a consultancy uh, business. Next, let's scroll down here and let's choose our blending mode. And we are going to choose, let's try soft light. Okay, I think soft light works. And then over here now on our image, we're going to click anywhere in here and add some transparency. So you can see here as I'm adding my transparency, it is really showing the, the image there in the background just ever so slightly. Okay, that's looking great. I'm now going to save this. And uh, what I may also want to do is to add a border around this uh, video player here. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click here on design and I'm going to come over here to border. And let's give this, let's go with uh, maybe four. Okay, now when it comes to the color, uh, let's give this a bit of transparency here. Or we can just use a lighter gray. All right, I think that works fine. The reason why I'm adding this is just for this to really stand out. Okay, now I am going to adjust our width for our row. So I'm going to go into my row settings here, design, 
And then I'm gonna go into sizing. By default, it's set to uh, 80%. I'm gonna bring it all the way down here to about 64 and save. Okay, so that looks that's looking much, much better. We may need to come over here now and um, customize our colors one more time. So let's go in and make this really dark. Add a darker gray. So we're going to go into our design text and let's go into our color here and let's choose a really dark gray. We don't really have to use black. Okay, so there we go. That's much better. It's going to save. Now it's time to work on our button. So I'm going to click here on our module settings. So for our button settings here, I'm just going to say next step. And let's go into our design. And then over here now, what we need to do is to go to button and activate use custom styles for button. All right. So now that we are here, let's add our button background color. So let's go and use this orange. And for our text color here, we're going to go with black. All right. Now, I'm not really happy with this border that I have around there. So let's uh, add orange for the border. And then for our text here, we need to go in and customize that. So let's change our font here to Poppins. And yeah, I think the, uh, the size and weight there is okay too. So I'm going to leave that as it is. So that's looking great. So the next thing that we may want to do here is as I'm looking at this image, I'm thinking to myself, okay, uh, we may want to add a bit of uh, a gradient here on the bottom and um, also the positioning of this image here, it may need to change. So let's go in and do that. So I'm going to come back over here to my background, click on my image. So right now it's set to um, center. So I'm going to play around with uh, top center and see how that looks like. Okay, so I think that looks much better. And like I said, I am going to try and add a gradient here and see what that looks like. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Um, so what I'm going to do now is to add my gradient here as white on the bottom. And for the other color here, I am going to just remove that and just have full transparency. Okay, so what we can do now is to uh, play around here with our start and end position. So our start position here, you can see I can play around with this like that. So let's make this about 48. And so this is a matter of adjusting this until you have this set the way you want it. Okay, so I think I am just going to have my start position here at about, uh, say, 80. And then I'm going to have all our content over here like that. But uh, while we're here as well, you can also go in and uh, add a bit of transparency here if you wanted to. And also this white, you can also play around with this and uh, adjust it if it's a bit too much. So you can see here by just dragging this down, I'm revealing my image. And here I think this looks much better. So now I'm going to save this. Next, I am going to now work on my next section. So I'm going to click here on regular. So let's start here with a single column. And in here, we're going to add a text module. Go ahead and add that. And this is where we're going to have our features. Let's set this to heading two. Click on design, heading text, heading two. Change this from default to Poppins. And then we are going to uh, center it. Change this from regular to bold. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's change this to medium. All right, now I'm going to add some letter spacing. There we go. So we're going to go with uh, 14 and then save. Next, we are going to go in here and add our columns. So I'm going to go with three. So this is where you can add, uh, say, testimonials or you can add your features. It just depends what you want to have here on this landing page. So in my case here, I'm going to add some blurbs because this is our feature. I'm going to select that. So first things first, I'm going to come over here to my icon. I'm going to delete that and add an icon. So let's add our first icon here. So let's go with this one here. Now we need to adjust this and also maybe do some work here in the background. So I'm going to come over here and let's go to our background here. And for our background color, I'm just going to use this dark gray like that. And then over here on the design, First thing I normally do here is to go to the spacing and give this some padding. So we're going to give this 30 all around just to give our content some breathing space. Great. Next, I'm going to go to my border here. 
maybe use four as my border just to uh, clean up these um, borders a little bit. Next, I'm going to come over here to image and icon, and this is where I can play around with my colors. So that's going to be my color here for my icon, but right now it's a bit too big. So I'm going to come over here to uh, use icon font size, and let's reduce this all the way down to about 50, maybe 52. Next, we're going to work on our text now. So let's start here with this text. We're going to change this from default to poppins. We're going to change our color. We're going to center it. And we're going to change our weight here to semi-bold. Now let's work on the text. And again, change this from uh, default to poppins. And we're going to change the color as well. Now for the color, I'm just going to add a bit of gray to this because I don't really want this to be the same color. Okay, we're going to center it. And then I'm just going to go in now and uh, just add my text here. So back all my text, I'm just going to paste it in here and also my title and then save. Great. So now that I have this in place, I can now go into my background and give this a background color. So let's start off with black and see how that looks. Okay, so uh, this doesn't look that bad, but we can also go light as well. And I think this looks much better. I don't know. I mean, you can go with whatever, whichever option you want to go with, but um, they both work. So I'm going to go with a really light gray here for this area here. Okay, let's go ahead now and save. And then on the top here, we're going to give this some padding as well. So let's go with the 100. And I apply this both to the top and the bottom by clicking this chain icon. Next, we're just going to duplicate this a few times. So let's go ahead and do that twice. Drag it over here. Drag this one over here. Great. Now let's go in and change our icons. So I'm going to go to my icon here. Maybe this one here could be display icon. And let's change this one as well. And this one here could be C. Okay, this one here could be maybe that. Okay, save that. So now we have our features here. And uh, this top area here is where we have our main call to action and our next step. So now that we have our design, we can now save this. But of course, you can go in and add more elements to your landing page. This is just to show you how easy it is to go in, create your page, and then use this on your funnels. So now that I have this, I'm now going to uh, export this. So I'm going to click here on portability, and then I'm going to say landing Mac, export this. Okay, you can see here it has been exported. Now, what we need to do is to go into uh, cart flows and set this up. So let's go into cut flows. So I'm going to come over here, click on flows. Let's add a brand new one. So I am going to uh, add new, start from scratch. So this can be, let's call this test, design your flow. Okay, so we have our landing page, our checkout and our thank you. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here into edit. Now, remember, we had the button on our landing page. In fact, let me show you where it is. So this is our button right here. So what we can do now is click here on settings and take this link over here. So this is very, very important. So we're going to copy that. And then back over here on our design, we're going to click here on edit with Divi. Now, notice I'm working here in cart flows. OK, next, I'm going to click here on use the Divi builder and then click on edit with the Divi builder. We're going to build this from scratch. And I can just drag my design that I've just created and then just click uh, replace existing content and import. OK, so here is my design. So before I do anything here, I just want to go in and add my link here. So this is my next step. I'm going to come over here and paste my link that I've just copied a few moments ago. Next, I'm going to save changes. Let's close out of here. And now I can save this page. Now, right now we have this boxed layout. I'm not a fan of that. So I prefer to have uh, everything full width. So what I'm going to do now is to exit the Visual Builder. In fact, you know what? I can just edit this step. So over here, you can see we have right sidebar. We also have post attributes. So here on our template, we have cut flows boxed. So we just want to call this template for page builders. Hit update. And we can review this step, but in a new tab. And here we go. So now we have our landing page that we've just created. 
and it's imported. Now, the final thing you have to do is we have this white space over here. So uh, we can get that, we can get rid of that by going back over here to edit with Divi. And then over here in my section settings, I can go now into design, spacing, and add my margin of minus 80. And that gets rid of uh, that space over there. Okay, so now I can save. So if you want to continue designing this, you can also go in here and uh, change the layout a bit if you wanted to. So let's say you wanted to change this from um, light to dark. You can just click here on this gear icon, go to your background, and you can just uh, flip the colors. So in this case, let's use black. So now we have black here on the bottom and uh, over here on the top, we can also do the same. But we are going to add a bit of transparency here so we can see a little bit of uh, what we have here in the background, just like a little bit, just like that, okay? And we may also want to adjust the bottom there a little bit as well, just like that. Okay, so now we've just flipped over the colors. So let's save this. And then over here now, you want to go in and just make sure that this turns to white. So let's go to our heading text here, turn it to white, and save. And uh, let's do the same over here as well. Go into our design text, change this to white. And over here now, we may not in need this border. So let's go ahead and get rid of the border by just dragging it off like that. Okay. So since we've used a five, I mean four on the um, on the borders there, we can also do the same here. So let's go ahead and add four, save that save the page and let's exit the visual builder. Great. So now we have our landing page. I've just flipped the colors here and you can see that this looks much, much better. So it depends how you want to have your layout. You want to have a dark version, a lighter version. I've shown you how to do both. And this is how you have your landing page. Now you may be asking, why do I have to do this? Well, the reason why you may want to do this is because this layout right here can be used on so many other funnels. So you can use this as your base funnel and then just uh, import it onto your other layouts that you design in the future. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.